What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and this is the last news video of the week. It is Friday, but you can expect another video coming Monday. And before I give you a quick rundown, if you got a second, like always, appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have yet to subscribe, make sure to hit the red button below. Now in this video, we have a few first looks as well as some release date changes. And that comes from Jordan brand Nike. We also have a little bit of Adidas, and without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Adidas Originals officially unveiled the Adidas Ultra Boost 2019 Refract. Now, they also went on to say that this is a homage release to the triple white pair. However, I don't see it. It looks more of a white multicolor, but it features a Prime Knit 360 upper along with a white full length boost midsole. Now, for those that are interested, here are the release details. They are first dropping on January 15th globally and then in the United States on February 13th. Retail price will be 180. On a side note, what is your thought on the Adidas Ultra Boost 2019? Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the shoe. I do like the Ultra Boost, but I just feel that the three stripes cage and the heel counter, not a huge fan of that look. But let me know in the comments section. We got another upcoming Nike Air Max 97. And I remember in 2017 when they were celebrating the 20th anniversary of the shoe, the brand pumped out a lot. 2018, they did the same and 2019, it looks like they're going to do the same as well. But next up, this pair features an anthracite, amarillo, and summit white color combination. However, there is a bit more. If you look at the sides, there's a bit of blue and yellow, and then yellow, or looks more of an orange shade, lands within the Air Max unit and hinted on the outsole. Also, this shoe reminds me a lot of the Air Tuned Max due to the upper, which is somewhat of a seamless look but it gives it that Air Max 97 vibes by the ridges. Maybe it's the color too, because I remember the OG Air Tune Max, that pair, which I had back in the day, kind of looked like this, the same color, the same almost material it looks like. But anyways, for those that are interested in grabbing this pair, they drop on February 7th. Retail price will be 170. About a week ago, images leaked of the Nike Blazer Low Chinese New Year that came in white and multicolor. Yesterday, images leaked of a second pair, which is done in black. So you have your choice of either white covering the base or black. It looks like on the white pair, we have leather, and then on the black pair, it could be suede. Somewhat difficult for me to tell from these images. The two will also feature metallic gold close to the toe, more on the side. That also lands on the branding on the tongue. And then on the white pair, we have that unique patchwork on the Nike swoosh and heel. But then on the black pair, it's not on the Nike swoosh, just on the heel. Both are completed with a white midsole and outsole. Sadly, no release details or a retail price is available. I expect that both pairs should be releasing soon. And by the way of things that are going, you could probably expect a few more models to be part of the 2019 Chinese New Year collection. In yesterday's video, I talked about the Nike Zoom Kobe 1 Pro Tro 81 points, and we only had the single image at that time. Prior to it, there was like one other image that leaked, which kind of showed them not even that great, kind of like an inside peek in the box. But now official images has arrived, so that gives us a better look. As far as the release details, that all stays the same. January 22nd, retail price will be 175 Nike skateboarding has been a hit as of late, which has helped a lot is their collaborations. Most of you know, next collaboration up is between Staple Design, and that will be on the Panda Pigeon. But for now, we have a look at a potential upcoming release. It has yet to be confirmed yet, but it's looking promising. But this is the NBA Nike SB Dunk High cleveland cavaliers now i know the Cavs aren't having their best season after lebron left and usually when they do release sneakers like this when they're just like one here and there for nba teams it's usually either a team that is winning or it's a team that's in a large market the Cavs are neither but this was probably in the works even before lebron left but anyways it's a clean look on the surface they come with a lot of black however if you skate or just using rubbing alcohol, the black will actually fade away and then we have what's left and that's a red base. More of a wine shade of red and then we have metallic gold on the Nike swoosh and white on the midsole, but that was there before the color would fade away. 
In the second picture, it actually looks like there's a few different shades on this shoe. It appears that they come with a second set of laces, which is blue, and then we have a little bit of blue on the liner inside of the tongue. And if you look closely, there's even a bit of pink. Not really sure why the pink's there. It could even be the lighting. As of now, the rumored release date will take place on January 21st. That has yet to be confirmed, so that's kind of why I'm up in the air on things. I've also heard that there's possibly a Nets pair releasing or recently released at select skateboarding retailers on the East Coast, but that is a blazer low. Nike also unveiled the PG3 NASA, and with that, there is a new release date, but before I get to that, a little bit from the press release. Embracing the spirit of exploration, PG has rocketed from a small town to the top of the league by pushing beyond the pinnacle of his game. In collaboration with NASA, the PG-3 NASA draws inspiration from NASA's Armstrong Building 703 in PG's hometown of Palmdale, California, and honors his mission to one day leave his footprints on the moon. Overall, the look still stays the same, and this is a strong first release for the Paul George line, and they drop on January 26th, and the retail price is $120. For those that have kids, the off-white Nike Air Max 90 is dropping in both kids and toddler sizing. This includes the Desert Ore Edition as well as the black and white pair. Now, we don't know of a retail price as of yet, but they'll be available on January 17th at Nike Sneakers. The kids' sizes will range from 10.5C all the way to 3Y, and then the toddler sizes will range between 0C and 10C. Speaking of off-white, we have official images of the off-white Nike Air Max 90 in black and white. Now the shoes feature mostly black throughout, and then we have white on the Nike swoosh as well as the little tag that leans off to the side on the tongue. And then we have cone, aka orange, that is applied to that little label just above the Nike swoosh. It also features the traditional off-white branding on the medial side as well as the logo on the insoles. Dropping January 17th, retail price will be 160. Like always, expect this to be a hard to obtain release. When retailers get anything related to off-white, it just seems like it's sold out really fast. So on this pair, good luck if you're going after them. Also the kids in toddler sizes as well. On to Jordan brand, and we have a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Mid Equality. And for some odd reason, this pair is tied in with Carmelo Anthony. I do remember some time back, I believe it was in 2018, maybe 17, but Jordan brand had announced that they were no longer doing Carmelo Anthony's signature line. So going forward, they were going to release certain models inspired by him. So we had the Air Jordan 19 Flint that was connected to him. We also had the Air Jordan 13, but that was more part of a series. And that pair actually wound up at outlets, but it's a very clean pair. I actually like that pair a lot. But moving forward, we have the Air Jordan 1 Mid Equality. It features white, more of an off-white, maybe even cream shade on the base. And then we have black on the overlays. It looks like it's constructed with leather and nubuck. On the Nike swoosh, we have a unique pattern. And then Carmelo Anthony's logo is seen on the tongue and insoles. Last up, across the hill, we have Equality. The release date is set for January 15th. Currently, we don't know of a retail price. We finally have a first look at the Air Jordan 2 BHM for Black History Month. Now, I know some people are upset because I shared a photoshopped image that came in black and gold just like the description and obviously that photoshop looks nothing like the retail release now that does happen a lot when you get early leaks you know a shoe's coming and you base it off of the color description when you do a photoshop or a mock-up and i make sure to clearly state that with every shoe that is a mock-up or a photoshop just so nobody gets confused so i want to apologize if you thought that the black and metallic gold photoshop image that i shared in the previous video was actually going to release but this is what we have here and honestly i'm a huge fan of the shoe they feature black throughout we also have subtle detailing around the toe and then where the overlay is and wraps the hill that same detailing and pattern it really pops due to the use of blue red and gold so gold lands on the right shoe and just above it is nike and then on the left shoe we have bhm finishing the look it is blue yellow and what looks to be a pink slash reddish probably is crimson and that lands on the outsole so this pair is dropping january 18th and retail price will be 190 
Along with a first look, we also have release information on the Air Jordan 13 Atmosphere Gray. The shoes come dressed in an Atmosphere Gray, White, University Red, and Black color combination. Now we do have a few images, but I don't see any University Red. It could possibly be on the insole or maybe even the outsole, but looking closer, they feature a darker shade of gray across the tumbled leather panels, and then on the lower part of the shoe, we have a lighter shade of gray and that's constructed with suede. That suede also wraps the heel and then we have white down the tongue, on the toe, and on the pods located on the sides. Overall, this shoe is pretty simple. It's pretty clean and it's simple. So a lot of people might like this. I'd like to hear your opinion in the comments below. But as for the released information, March 30th is the date for now. We got a bit of time before we even hit March so anything can change and the retail price will be 190. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. It is Friday, so I hope every one of you has a great weekend. If you're going after any releases, I hope you get them, and you can expect another video this Monday. Once again, if you haven't already, and you got a second, greatly appreciate a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.